Hello. Good evening, Daisy. Good evening. How's it going? Uh, uh, it is going good. Yes. How about you? Yeah, not bad. It's a little bit rainy outside, so it's a little bit cold, but not too cold. How's the weather in Korea? I heard it's very warm. Oh, yes, it is catching. Uh, it is uh, going closer to um, summer. Mm. So how do you stay cool nowadays in your house? Do you leave the window open? Do you have a fan? Do you have an aircon? What are you using to stay cool? We open the windows and we uh, eat uh, uh, that watermelon. Mm, that's a good one. Nice cold watermelon. So you open the windows, why? Because you want the air to move, right? Yes. What do we call moving air? We call it... Wind. It, it is wind, but if we open inside a room, we want the air to ventilate. We want the air to move. This is called ventilation. Ventilation. All right. Daisy? Anything interesting happening this week? Uh, tomorrow I will go to camping. Tomorrow I will go camping. Uh, tomorrow I will go camping. Yeah, good. Daisy, what are some of the important things that you always bring with you when you go camping? Tent. Just a tent? A tent and food and some wood to make campfire and some snacks okay. and my family. Okay, good. What about some cooking utensils? How do you cook the food? Oh, on fire. On fire. On the fire. So you have, there is a grill, maybe that sheet of metal oh. to put the meat on the, on the fire. Oh. You have a grill. My Bring all the like of my dad brings like fried friend was mm. um yes grill not on the campfire and oh but that's actually a better idea using using the pan the frying pan but I don't know if you can put the frying frying pan on the fire maybe it will damage the frying pan I don't know okay so you will tell me about your camping trip uh, when you come back. <clears throat> Are you packed and ready? No, tomorrow I'll pack. Oh, you are leaving because to... tomorrow oh, we don't go to school, so... Oh, why not? Uh, because uh, on, on Friday it is Memorial Day and tomorrow is like... It was on May 1st Mm -hmm. uh, it was the day for workers. Okay. And that that day we didn't. Uh, we came to school, so I think we are ah. not coming to school tomorrow. Okay, I see. So you are catching up on a holiday that you didn't get. Yes. Okay. So that's an extra two days. That so how long are you going camping for? You uh, have you have a Thursday Friday. Saturday. Thursday Friday. That's really cool. You will enjoy. Okay, I want to see some photos when you when you come back. Can you show me some? Yes. Maybe of the. Camp. I will, uh, take a photo of the when it sounds that's like your background, uh, because it is ocean. So like there's two, two uh two, one little uh uh it is very beautiful when it is sunset and or uh, when we go inside to that campsite there uh they there wrote like a, a camp campsite where it is beautiful when we uh when there's a sunset so I will take picture of uh, when it does that. Okay, that's a brilliant idea. That will make, make a nice picture of the view from that viewpoint. 
Then also maybe you can take a picture of the cooking. I want to see how are you cooking the food. Okay. That's interesting. All right, cool. I'm excited. Daisy, let's start today's class. Today we are going to <clears throat> look at a little bit of science topic, which is the three states of matter. The three states of how we can find things. We can find them in three ways. How can we find them? Do you know? Solid, liquid, gas. Solid, liquid and gas. Let's look at those three states of H2O. What is H2O? H2O is water. So, liquid. Li uh, water, yes. So let's see here if I show you this diagram let's look at this diagram and we start with the top one the solid the ice if we heat the ice what happens oh uh, it it that 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 it will uh, it will melt melt right so it will melt the ice will melt and become water it will become liquid so now we want to make a good sentence here. Let's write the ice melts to change to a liquid form, liquid state. Can you read that one for me? The ice melts to change a li change to a liquid state. Right, Daisy, now if we heat the water, the liquid, it will change to what state? Gas. It will change state. to a gas state, exactly. Now, what is that process called? It's not melting, it is ev evaporation. Evaporation, yes, it is evaporating. So, now I want you to make the sentence. Uh, hmm? Look at the first uh, sentence and just change. The water uh, evaporate to change to a gas state. Nice. All right, Daisy, now we are at the gas state. What do we call the gas when, when it is water? It is steam. We call it steam or vapor you can say water vapor so daisy that's what's happening in the ocean every day the sun is shining and water is evaporating and it becomes a gas it becomes water vapor in the sky and then clouds start to form why are clouds forming daisy what is happening to this gas oh condensation yeah okay so it's not evaporating it's condensing that process is called condensation so Con one more time i'm going to ask you to make a third sentence for me similarly look at the sentence and just change the words so now we'll say uh, steam oh Condenses. 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 Uh, to change to a liquid state. All right, Daisy. Please read that last sentence one more time. The steam condenses to change to a liquid state. What do we call that liquid state? If we see that liquid state in the sky, what is it called? Rain. Rain, exactly. And then the rain falls down. Daisy, where can we see these three states together? Is there any place where we see all three of them together? Ice, water and steam? Let me... Oh. Let me, let me show you a photo where you can see all three of them. This is a lagoon in Iceland. 
So, Daisy, please tell me which one is the solid state. Uh, the ice? The, the snow. Do you see the snow? The white snow? No. Uh -huh. Can you say for me, the snow is the solid state? The snow is the solid state. Do you see the, the gas state? Where is that? Uh, yeah. All right, so that gas is going up, it's evaporating. The water is evaporating and we have the gas. All right, I don't need to tell you where is the liquid. You can see the liquid. Yes. All right, good. Let's move on to our next one. <clears throat> so, Daisy, if you had a chance to live on a floating house, so you are surrounded by water. You are not on the land. What do you think that would be like? Would you enjoy that? Uh, it would be fun, but if the uh, house or like so heavy and like uh, goes inside to water and some um, some um, living things in the water can eat the bottom and okay so you are you, you you are talking about if the if the house sinks yes oh but they will build it very well they will engineer and design it so that it doesn't sink but there it are will be to go to school exactly there are some problems about this house how do you go to school you can but it's more difficult you need to how can you go to school maybe you catch a boat Maybe you ride a helicopter. Ah. There are ways, but it's more difficult. Or we can swim. <laughs> <laughs> swim to the land and then run to school. <laughs> okay, what about electricity? How does, uh, how does this house get electricity? Antenna. Because, do, you think, do you think they need electricity? Oh, uh, yes. Of course. For, for what reason? Why do they need electricity? Light. Mm -hmm. That, that, that. Uh. So for lights, for charging your phone, for using the computer, for the kitchen appliances, the refrigerator. All these they things need it. So, Daisy, how can we get electricity? Well, a man in Alaska, he created these power generators. A power generator is making electricity so that the house can use the electricity. Now, how does this thing work? This yellow thing gets put into the water Turns? Turns, yes. Why does it turn, Daisy? Why, what is making it turn? Uh, electricity. The water. The water uh -huh. is flowing. The water is moving. When, we, when, uh -huh. when water is moving, it, it, it is a current. The water current. And if the water current is strong enough, Daisy, the water current can be very dangerous. Did you ever swim in the ocean? Swim at the beach? In Hawaii? Yeah. And is it dangerous? Are the waves strong there? Oh, sometimes I went and that play, uh, storm is very little with comes and some is very, uh, it is normal and some play it is big and I went to the big waves and I was going to the tent where my mom's uh, mom is uh, like staying and like I didn't see the bag and like the big wave uh, broke and I I couldn't uh, breathe for three seconds. Did the wave hit you? Yes, it like oh, it went oh, no. over you. It was bigger than you. Yes. Wow, that's a huge wave. So that was very dangerous. 
The way was trying to pull it. That's, that's the current. Okay, so the current is quite strong, and then, and then we, we need, that's why they have the lifeguards there. If the current uh -huh. is too strong, they will say no more swimming. All right, so Daisy, that current is strong enough and it can turn this, this is called a turbine. The turbine will turn in the water. Now there are two parts here I want you to learn. The first part is the turbine. Can you say for me? The water current is turning the turbine. The water current is turning the turbine. And then the turbine is turning something here. The turbine is turning the generator. <laughs> Can you say for me? The turbine is turning the generator. The turbine is turning the generator. And this one, turbine. Okay, Daisy, so there's three of them. The current is turning the turbine, the turbine is turning the generator. And what does the... Uh, yeah? Uh, nothing. What does the generator do? Uh, generate electricity. Exactly. And then they can use the electricity. Let's read Yeah, Can you read the title? Alaskan inventor is 3D printing Tidal power generators for houseboats. Just drop anchor and power on. Just drop anchor. What is an anchor, Daisy? Oh, uh, that a uh, thing that uh, like boats use to like hold the ship to not go away. To not go away. Current. Exactly. Because of the current, the boat is moving with the current. And if we want to stop, they throw the anchor. Because how does the anchor work? Is it heavy or is it light? It is heavy. It's heavy. So it holds the boat. So drop the anchor and you can use this power generator. Daisy, can you tell me how does this power generator work? Once we put it in the water, what happens? Uh... Uh, we need to drop the anchor and we can power on the um, power generator. All right, good. Daisy, are you a fan of sport? Uh, I like to ride bicycle and ski. Bicycle and, and ski and swim. What about with a ball? Do you play any ball sport? Kicking? Dodgeball. Dodgeball, okay. Uh, handball. Handball. Which one is handball? Handball? Uh, it, I don't know if it is real, but like in gym class, teacher, to, teacher uh, said we can do handball. Uh, teacher told, uh, taught us how to play handball and it was very fun. Okay, can you tell me quickly the rules? How do you play handball? Uh, it is like... Like volleyball. Uh, I, I'm thinking uh, vo I volleyball. It is not volleyball and it is like basketball and soccer mix. Basketball and soccer mix. So there is a hoop. You need to throw the ball in the hoop. It is not hoop and it is like the that soccer when goal. we the do goal. the goal. Uh, yes, goal and we need to use hands. Ah, okay. So you throw the ball in the goal. Yes, we need to pass before three seconds. Pass before three seconds. And are you allowed to kick? Uh, if we I think we are out and if we touch another player, we are out also. Mm, that sounds like a f I never played that game. I don't know it. Very cool. It is very fun. What about soccer? Do you play soccer? I play soccer, but I'm not very good at soccer and basketball. No, that's okay. As long as you can enjoy it. Daisy, there is a soccer stadium in Spain. What is the capital city of Spain? 
Madrid. Um, Madrid. Madrid is the capital city and in Madrid they have this soccer stadium that it has a retractable field. Retractable? Oh, what does retractable mean? Retractable means it can go in and out. In and out. It can open and close. Open and close. Like a robot. So that soccer field in the stadium. Daisy, you went to a stadium before, right? No. No? Didn't you go to a baseball stadium? No. No? What about a concert? Did you ever go to a concert? Oh, when I was young, I followed my grandma because she wanted to uh, uh, like listen to a lot of singer. You followed your grandmother and you went together with your grandmother to a, a, a concert and this concert was at the stadium? Uh, but it was outside the stadium. Outside the stadium. Okay, what was happening inside? the stadium was there other other performers other concerts uh, it was not inside the stadium uh, there was no in the stadium but not inside and just outside and okay so maybe it was some <laughs> festival that was outside there yeah daisy this retractable field it is a field, a soccer field, that can go underground. They can move the soccer field underground. Why would they want to move the soccer field underground? Like if there's a raining and... So if actually this also, the stadium also has a retractable roof. So if it's raining, they can close the roof. So the reason why the reason why they have this retractable soccer field is so that they can have other events other events in the stadium other events such as concerts All right Daisy now if this grass is going underground what does yes question uh, how many or uh, how much time does it take to go inside the whole field takes about one hour one hour to move it inside uh -huh. daisy what does what, what does the plant need to survive Water, air, sunlight. Water, air, and sunlight. So, if this grass is underground, it needs those three things. So, how can, how can they do that? Uh, we can use like uh, that glass for the roof and sunlight can go inside. Glass for the roof, that's a good idea. Or they can put lights, they can put uh, UV lights, LED lights underground and that will be good for the plants. But what else does the plant need? All that air. Air. And, and we, water. what did we say earlier? You open your windows because you want the air to move. That is air ventilation. Air ventilation. So, underground, they need an air ventilation system. They need lights for the plants. And number three? Oh, that, that water. The water system. All right, good. Daisy, do you have any questions about the stadium? Oh, like, um... When the soccer is uh, when the soccer stadium is uh, open like open and uh, people come and like uh, after the soccer after the soccer the inside of stadium is open. 
So they put the field underground only when there is another event happening, such as concerts. If there is a concert happening in the stadium, they will move the grass underground. And like if they're like same time event and locker and uh. No, they cannot have the same time. They cannot have um, the people playing soccer and the concert at the same time. Okay, good question. Daisy, let's review our three topics today. The first was something about clouds formation. Do you the, the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Mm. What do we call it when the gas is changing to a liquid? Evidence? Condense. Ah, uh, con like condense. Con like, actually, do you know condensed milk? Uh, condensed milk. It's I a... heard it, but I don't. It's, it's... Are there? Uh, yes, I know. Condensed milk is like very thick, thick, thick milk, and it's very sweet. Yes. And this is very, very thick, thick, thick steam, and it becomes water. So, con it's, uh, that condensed milk, uh, when I ate with all uh, that pancake, it was very young. Mm, you can eat it with pancakes. Do you know what I like to do? I like to put cacao, cocoa powder, inside the condensed milk and then mix it and it changes to like a chocolate condensed milk oh yeah and then you just eat it with oh i ate it with a spoon <laughs> you can try do you have condensed milk in your house no oh okay <laughs> i want to buy but my mom said i think my mom will say no it's very sweet it's a very sweet dessert it's too sweet i i don't eat it anymore it's too sweet Daisy, in India, some engineer, he made a condense machine, a condenser. A sweet machine? We can eat that machine? No, this condenser machine was changing steam into liquid water. So from Ooh. the air, it's becoming water. Why is that a good thing? Who can he help with that? Oh, uh, like... Um, places, uh, places that don't have water. Ah. Some places struggle to have clean drinking water. And this is a good machine to help those kinds of places. All right. Daisy, any questions for me before we say goodbye? Did I tell you that I I'm on the book? Which book? No, you didn't tell me. Uh, Which book? It is like, um, it is not, uh, it is like magazine. No, but you I never told me. The only thing you told me long time ago was you were, you were reading some book and you were writing some, no, you didn't tell me recently. I'm on the book. In the magazine? Why? Why are you in the ma book? Oh, um, I wanted to do so. I sent mail on March and uh, there's like, uh, it is like interview, uh -huh. real life interview and I'm on the that June's uh, magazine. Wow, is it in English? Can I read it or is it Korean? It's Korean. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to read it. That's really cool. Is there a photo of you in the in the book? Yes. Can you take a photo of it and send it to me? I want to see. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you, Daisy. I will see you again. When will I see you? Next week? Yes, I think so. See you next week. Have a nice camping trip. See you next week. Don't forget the photos, please. Okay. Bye.